Hello, welcome to Fishing Foraging and Outdoor Adventure. Today we've got a really quick little simple video for you. Uh, something that requires little to no introduction uh, is blackberry picking. There's probably not many people who have not done blackberry picking before. It's probably one of our earliest childhood memories for a lot of people. Uh, for me, I remember going, coming back from blackberry picking, black all around my mouth, purple hands, uh, and a bowl with virtually nothing in it because I'd had everything I picked. Um, and I'm trying to recreate that with my kids now. Uh, and it's something that uh, they love, they've, they've done it for years. Lewis has been blackberry picking since he was about three years old, uh, every year. So it's uh, late August, uh, you know, but you get these in September. And even into October, you get plenty of blackberries uh, for, about, for around about two months of the year. So in terms of identification, uh, I think everybody knows what a blackberry looks like, but just for the record, it's uh, this plant here with a little uh, serrated leaves on, uh, green on both sides as opposed to the raspberry, it's more of a silver on the underneath, which is shown here in uh, one of my other videos. Uh, the, the berries start off green at the beginning of the year, uh, so you can see some starts of green ones here. Uh, that's at their very uh, infancy stage. Well, it starts off as a petal first, uh, then once it's been pollinated, it turns green. Yeah, you can do in a second, Lola. And once it goes from green, you can see it starting to this, turn to this pink colour, uh, which will eventually go red. Uh, and from the red, they turn to these lovely black uh, berries. So Lola's picked uh, a nice little handful there. And uh, we're going to go and pick uh, a few more. And once we've got uh, a good amount, we're going to take it home and we're going to make some food with it. Well, I'm going to make an um, apple crumble. And um, we're also going to make um, a bit of um, blackberry pie. Oh, no, we're not eating them. Nope. But blackberries are on thorns. Ow! <laughs> See, they're on thorns. This much so far we've got. I think we've got a long way to go yet, haven't we? Yeah. I'm going to show you uh, a little tip in uh, how to reach them. So I can reach these ones down here. Great. But what you always struggle with is when a bush starts right at your feet and you're trying to get the far ones. So you're trying to reach over to these. There's, there's dozens up there and I can't reach them. So what I do is I'm going to get myself a little stick, uh, cut it down, have a little hook on the end, and I'll pull it towards me. Okay, so while them two argue about who's picking and who's eating, I'm going to just get myself a little uh, reaching tool. So I um, always carry a, po uh, a pocket pen knife with me. On the saw, I don't like cutting trees down uh, when, you know, cut cutting bits off trees when there's so much dead wood around anyway. So, uh, so this this will do perfectly. I'd like something a bit thinner, really, but this will do. Saves um, saves taking a healthy tree and killing it. Lou keeps on eating them, does he? Naughty Lewis. Before you were, Lou. <laughs> Before he was. I'll do it, Lou. Okay, thanks. That was a little uh, reaching tool. Oh, there's a piece of dead wood that I found on, uh, on the ground. I don't like killing uh, wood or trees just for the sake of it. Just, just for me to have something I can use for 10 minutes and then chuck in the bin. So a piece of old dead wood with a bit of a, uh, a crook at the end and this is going to help me get all the blackberries uh, that have grown uh, quite high. Come on Luke. Come on 
Ah. Look out. Look at this one. I much prefer those than the ones in the shop. I think it's more fun than just them picking them in the wild or like in, in the woods and then picking them in Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's, you go, you just get um like um, a packet of them and then pick them up, then put them in a trolley, and that's quite boring. And the new one there is nice. My hands running out of space. And I put it over here. So I can have the tub. My hands running out of space. See a little blackberry picking too, don't you? You love coming to the woods, don't you? Yeah. Another one. Okay, a little tip that I'd give you as well is get a big wide tub and only cover the bottom. So. You can see this isn't more than one or two blackberries deep, the whole tub. You can even see the bottom on some parts. That's because if I was to fill this wash nut bowl halfway, or even fill this wash nut bowl, which I probably could do in about an hour, be quite easy, all the bottom ones get crushed under the weight, and uh, they all burst, and then they all just go off, and they, they, the, the quality is, is rubbish then, because they've all been squashed. So, big wide tubs with trays on. So you can see these, it uh, doesn't matter how deep it is because you can only fit uh, you know, about an inch worth uh, of berries. Another, another tray there, another tray here, and um, we'll fill them and then we'll put them into bags for storage and we'll make um, pie and crumble with the rest. This is really fun blackberry picking. We even got to in, in the field bit. <laughs> so I'm not going to go nuts, uh, I do this sort of thing all the time, I'm always gathering wild food uh, so I don't feel the need to go and, and fill five gorilla buckets full of uh, blackberries uh, I just do it, um, I've got enough there for to make a couple of blackberry pies or crumbles um, we can eat one today and maybe eat another one later on in the week. Um, so that's enough for me, that's uh, all I'm going to take with me. Uh, it's only took us about 15 minutes to get that. Uh, got a bit of fun and now uh, we're going to take it back to the kitchen. Okay, so in the garden I have got uh, a few fruit trees. So I've got this uh, little apple tree here. They're all really young so they're not really producing much fruit yet. So there's the apple tree. This is a plum tree, I've had everything off that. And there's the little cherry tree. Uh, yet again, uh, season's passed for that, so we've had everything off it. But uh, we've got ourselves uh, a few little apples uh, to go with this, um, with these blackberries. Uh, it'd be nice to use uh, stuff out of the garden to combine with the fruits that we've just got out of the woods as well. Okay, so here we go. Uh, I'm, I'm in the kitchen now. I'm going to make us some apple and blackberry crumble and some apple and blackberry pie as well. So, uh, like I've said on a couple of other videos before, uh, I'm not a cook, I'm not a chef. Uh, I'm only here to do, show you the quick, simple way that I cook um, what I've gathered, uh, my wild ingredients. I'm gonna cheat, so I've got um, short crust pastry, it's already rolled, rolled and done, and I've got crumble topping. 
So these apples throughout the garden, you know, that they're, they're not been grown, they're, they're a little bit scabby. They've not been grown with all sorts of pesticides and uh, and ways of, of growing them in pristine condition like you would uh, if you bought them from a supermarket. But that's part of the charm of having something that's grown in your garden or grown wild in the woods. So perfectly uh, fine to eat, great inside. All we're gonna do is just cut the little bits um, I'm going to cut these bits out. There you go. So that's, that's all I like to cut out, and the rest of it's fine. So I'm going to core them. I'm just going to have lots of nice little apple chunks. Okay, first thing we put some butter and some sugar in a pan, uh, melt it all down and add some all the apples because they've got a lot more texture to them than the blackberries have. So uh, we give them uh, around about 5 or 10 minutes just to sweat them down, soften them up uh, and then we're going to add the blackberries. Okay, so the apples are cooked. I'm going to flip it around and all I do is add Roughly the same amount, probably a bit more for these blackberries. Anybody interested in weights and measures, you're watching the wrong videos because I have no idea. I put put it in until it looks about looks, feels, or tastes about right. Now we're going to add a load of sugar, sprinkle it over, and the later you pick your berries in the season, uh, you can pick them in early August, they might be black but they might not have much sugar in. If you pick them uh, in September, they're going to put more of the plant's energy into the, to the fruit, and it's going to be full of more sugar, and you'll need to add less sugar when you're cooking it. So that's why I don't really go off weights and measures, I just go off what tastes about right. Because if it's been a particularly sunny summer, your blackberries might be right nice and early. If it's been a bit of a, a wet and miserable summer, uh, they might not really uh, have uh, ripened until late September. So a book isn't going to tell you that. The only thing you can do is get a bit now and taste it. Mm. Pretty good. There we go, simmering all the way nice there. All the juice is starting to come out of them now. Okay, so here's a short crust pastry. So I do to get this um, baking dish. Put it down. Just go around it. Okay, so I don't want to simmer this way too long because I don't want to lose that little bit of texture that the blackberries have. They don't have much, but literally within a few minutes of cooking this, they will all turn to just sludge. So, here we go. In the bottom of a dish, these are just little lasagna trays. And this is a nice, um, just a baking 
baking dish, I suppose. Right, this is not going quite as far as I wanted, so I'm going to take one of these dishes out and spread this one in here. Just to beef up the content of that, them two. And then I'm going to have one pie and two of these crumbles. You can see in here, all the lovely blackberries cooked really nice. Um, my wife tells me that I've made a bit of a mistake there by not peeling these apples. I'm sure it's going to taste absolutely fine anyway. We're simple and straightforward, shop bought pastry. I've just cut it around the top, we'll lay that on top now. Press that into it, just nice. By the way, if anyone wants a proper recipe on making apple and blackberry crumble or pie, I'm sure they can go and see. Mary Berry's website or something like that. I'm doing this from like a, a foraging perspective. This is just, this isn't my specialty. But I'm just giving you an example of what you can do with the wild ingredients that I'm showing you how to get. Okay, so if you really want it cheap, have an apple and blackberry crumble, all you do is you go to the shop and you buy one. This, in my opinion, as much as cheating, isn't really cheating because I've been out in the woods for just picking all these berries and peeling, picking and getting myself stung and bit and as much as I've been having fun doing it, it's hardly cheating getting a packet mix of crumble. Much easier ways that you can that you can do it. Just go and buy a crumble. So I've got no guilt in um, doing this. Still doing enough on this to call it homemade. But let's just get this packet mix now, spread it over the top. Make sure it's all broken up as well. So these now are gonna go in the oven for about 25, between 20 minutes and half an hour. I'll just keep on checking them. The crumble says it's gonna take uh, about uh, five to 10 minutes longer than uh, the pastry will. So uh, we'll stick them in the oven now and see what we're left with. Okay, so it's our blackberry and apple pie. All finished, nice and golden brown on top. See all the uh, the lovely blackberries poking through, you know, coming through at the side, all the juices. So that's gonna make absolutely delicious pudding for all the family. Okay, thank you for watching my video on cooking with wild blackberries. Uh, it's been uh, really good and uh, enjoyable to combine uh, the ingredients from the garden with the ingredients from the wild. So. I uh, hope you've learned something. I uh, hope it's something you can try yourself. Like I said, a very uh, basic form of foraging, uh, but it doesn't take away from the fun of it. Uh, so uh, it's been great to make. If you've enjoyed my video, please press like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.